stolen identity. Alrighty guys, how's it going? Another training tip here with Adam, your dog trainer. I am on the road for uh, July 4th, and I, you know, I'm sitting here thinking, what is probably the most important thing that I can give advice-wise when it comes to training your puppies? But first, if this is your first time watching, please consider smashing that subscribe button. Also, don't forget to hit the little bell for notifications. And please, feel free to hit me up on my Instagram page at Adam Your Dog Trainer, where I post pictures of my students on a daily basis. Lastly, please consider uh, joining us on our Facebook page at Adam Your Dog Trainer's YouTube community, where I get a little more in-depth view on this lovely channel and kind of you guys get a little, I get some advice from you guys, you guys help me, I help you, and that's how this channel grows. Alrighty guys, so please go ahead, hit me up there. All right, so let's talk about training. So one of the biggest things that I see when I talk about dog training and I'm dealing with a new client, um, and I see it all the time, is what I call rapid fire commands. Now, rapid fire commands are gonna be things like when you're repeating your command, sit, 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 so many times in a row, you're not giving your dog that ample time to process. Remember, it's all about giving that education first before the expectations. So you have to educate first. You know, if you don't do that simple education part and give them that opportunity to learn, you're never gonna get your dog to understand what you want because all they're hearing is blah, 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 blah. Alrighty, so you have to remember that dogs honestly need that time to absorb the information. That's why we start puppy training so young and by the time they're, you know, seven, eight, nine months old, they're pretty rock star solid. And if they're not, then we're looking at opportunities to really be able to follow up. So my big advice of the day would be to don't rapid fire your dog's commands. Really take it slow and steady and really teach them instead of expecting. Get rid of that expectations. So, if, for example, if you're gonna teach your dog sit, teach them sit, lure them into a sit and then mark it with the command, you know, sit. Say yes and then give the reward. Uh, whether that reward is a treat or a toy or just a pat on the head, give them some reinforcement. This way, they're able to truly understand what you're trying to do. If you can't give your dog a simple sit command without saying it more than once, you're not really doing something right. Um, nine times out of ten, it's patience of the human, not patience of the dog. The other thing you have to remember is dogs feed off of sound. So if you keep rapid firing commands, they're just gonna get more, I mean, more electrified and more excited, and then your dog's not gonna be able to process because all they're doing is jumping on you. So, you know, that's probably the biggest issue I see when I have a new client would be the way they think they have to give a command to their dog. Um, the other thing would be the tone of your voice. What tone do you use when you're giving those rapid fire commands? Are you using a standard, you know, just a basic sit? Or are you like being, trying to be a little more dominant and assertive with your tone and adding, you know, a little bit more, I need to be dominant, I need to be, tell them who's boss. Well, I'll tell you, that just intimidates your dog when they're a puppy. Once they get older and they learn your reflections and your voice, then you can add those in and that makes all the difference when you know after a year or so but in the meantime just keep it nice calm relaxed the more relaxed you are doing your training the more relaxed your dog will be and they'll feed off of that and they'll learn the positive way they need to be that's why it's called positive training it's not positive because we're being nice it's positive because we're letting our dogs learn and we're letting them understand and absorb 
That's what the important thing about training using positive based methods are and is. Alrighty, so that's my training tip uh, on the road today. Um, I'm on my way up to Jacksonville to visit some friends of mine for the holidays and hopefully everyone had a good July 4th and I will uh, see you guys next time. Alrighty, everyone have a great day, have a good week. Uh, if you made it this far, please go ahead and give me a thumbs up and I will see you guys next time. Peace.